Being women, shocked as 90% of single event attendees were women. Really? Huh. That's crazy. It's almost like uh, there's a disparagement in dating right now between men and women. <laughs> women. Ew. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one, boom. I signed up for a singles event on Valentine's Day, and here's how it went. It was fun, but there was more girls than there were guys. It was definitely like The Bachelor a little bit. That is crazy to me. I remember people used to say things like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a man, and it was a sausage party. Not the opposite. Men don't go to these. Men do not go to singles events. Going to another singles event, and this is my outfit. Stop paying money to go to singles events. Men don't go. Stop. Wait, wait, people pay? Wait, people pay for that? What? People pay to go to this? 20 to 30 dollars? Nah, that's crazy, dude. So I would love to hear from you all as to why you think men don't attend singles events. Come with us to a Thursday event. No attractive men found. Uh, yeah, that's why, that's why no attractive men found. That's why men don't go. Am ugly. Chat, you're not ugly, man. Truly, you are not ugly. And even if you think you're ugly, you're probably not as ugly as you think. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on, one second. Sorry, my was my dog was going under my feet and like fucking digging around. Sorry. Handsome men don't need single events. Yeah, exactly. Plus, you're paying for it, too. It's like, handsome men and women don't really go to this kind of thing. It's pretty rare. You're probably already dating someone if you're, like, conventionally attractive. Attractive men found. Once again, modern women get disappointed after attending a single event. Mm. The lack of male attendees is the main reason for their disappointment, and some got mad to the point of calling it a waste of time and money. Well, I mean, yeah, but this used to not be the way it was. I remember watching movies from like the 80s and 90s talking about men going to like these events and it's like a sausage party and there's like maybe one girl. <laughs> no, it's the opposite. I signed up for a singles event on Valentine's Day and here's how it went. I was so nervous, you guys. This was a singles tournament at this paddle club here in New York City. You would play with different partners every game. It was fun, okay. but there were more girls than there were guys. It was definitely like The Bachelor a little bit. There was food and drinks and a DJ, so the vibe was good, but I wasn't really vibing with anyone. So please keep pushing me to put myself out there. Thanks, guys. I'm not six feet. I don't have a six pack. I don't make six figures. And guess what? I don't care. Less than attractive guys would be rejected and the handsome guys don't want masculine women. <laughs> Wait, what's masculine about? Okay, hold on. Pause. Pause. What does masculine women mean? They're just... I saw a few attractive girls here. Look at their, look at their butts. Conventionally attractive? I don't know, man. They look pretty normal to me. The handsome guys don't want masculine women. Women don't want the guys who need singles events. The guys women do want don't need this event. Yeah. That simple. I have six pack and make six figures. Just not six foot tall. So women will date me and let me take care of everything while letting me know they are settling. I'm out. If if someone says to you that you they're settling for you just because they're short, just dump them instantly. My brother, 
is just like average, just slightly below average height, and he said he got a lot of flack while dating. I'm not joking. He used to tell me he was really upset when he'd go on dates and women are like, um, uh, you're not like six foot. You're like five foot eight. It's just like. He's not even like short, short. He's just a, like a little bit below average. Settle these nuts on your face. Thank you for typing that. I just feel bad. I don't know. My brother complained to me a lot about like dating just because he was a like he was a built guy too. Like he worked out. He had a good job. He didn't have kids and he got rejected because it's like, oh, I'm just taller than you. So we can't be together. And I'm not just saying this like as I like, oh, <laughs> all women are like this. It's like, no, that actually happened to my brother. I remember the days that men used to pay for these single events that were free to women. Yep. We no longer go to these single events because we had to pay for them and then no women would show up. Now they know how we felt years ago. Yep. This, I I'm telling you, that's how I saw it in the movies. That's why it was called the sausage party because it was all men going to these things. At least she was lucky this event happened because others were canceled due to the lack of men's interest. But when it comes to this video, I want to concentrate on this part. It was fun, but there was more girls than there were guys. It was definitely like The Bachelor a little bit. Our lack of interest in this type of event is just the result of constant unsuccess when it comes to what we want out of these gatherings. And this is something that won't change anytime soon. And for those- Well, and women are constantly rejecting them on dating platforms. How do you think people who feel after rejection on dating platforms when they don't even get to meet people and now they're doing the same thing but in real life again? They just expect to get rejected. Of course people aren't going. The dating market right now is a complete dumpster fire. I just called it quits after my last girlfriend got hooked on meth, stopped taking her bipolar meds and got abusive. Holy hell, that's a paragraph. <laughs> Sounds like a freak. <laughs> Poor guy, man. Sorry, Jeff. Everyone doing meth these days, even the VTubers, man. Oh, that's crazy, dude. Those who want to understand men's reason for not attending a single event, have a look at the next clip tell you about my experience speed dating in new york city and why did she yell that and we're like uh this selection literally every single guy was five six or under and there was not one cute guy and you wonder why men don't go to these things because people because they end up seeing these tiktoks on their for you page yeah yeah, geez, I, I wonder why. It's almost like they get bullied for existing. That was the feedback of the event she attended, and okay. this is what most guys face when they participate in this gathering. What men would be motivated or interested in a single event after comments like this? Yeah, very, most very nice. Most modern women are looking for Chad only, regardless of the setting. And they are looking for those guys on a dating app, single event, and in any other possible setting you can think of. Therefore, if you are the average Mike who works at Amazon, going to a single event will not make any difference because the likelihood of being rejected is the same as anywhere else. Yeah. What is the point of paying to be rejected? We are well aware that most of us are not Chad, and we are clever enough not to pay to be rejected. But there is a vital piece of information most modern women are missing. They aren't aware that Chad doesn't need to attend a single event to find women. Because they are a Chad and they work out and probably have a lot of money and they already have women lined up for them. <sighs> I feel like it's just a low IQ skill issue. Like, I feel I do feel bad for people who have to deal with this and they're smart and they 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 just, you know, they just have to deal with this because they're not lucky enough. Because there is an, there is a factor of luck involving this kind of thing. There is. 
I do believe that. I've heard of stories of people hooking up in, on like MMOs or video games and it does work out. But there's a lot of people who are like, fuck that. I don't want to deal with um, long distance relationships and they break up, even though they have like almost a perfect relationship. And long distance usually isn't great for like working out problems. I think caring so much about an arbitrary height number just because it's a round number in the imperial system is a sign of low IQ in and of itself. Um, I don't think it's about the round number. It's like it, he has to be taller than me by at least like a head. Like my brother is half a head taller than me or like a little bit over that. Actually, no, I like I'd say he's like almost a head taller than me. Right. But. If you're like a little bit above average woman height, you're like, oh, he can't protect me because he's like not an entire he he's not like big enough to like completely. You know, shield me or whatever. I don't know. Like, it's just such a like it's just a, it's such a like primitive like way of thinking, in my opinion. Alana's tall. No, I'm average height. I'm, I'm literally five, six. He can't protect me? What the fuck are you in the Old West? No, 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 no. Hold on. Dial it back. Dial it back. Women want a protector. However, if you're a built guy and you're a little bit shorter than average, I don't care. Like, go for it. Sure. Just be there for me. Support me. I don't care. Be good to me. I have a gun I can protect. Yeah, sure. The great equalizer, a gun. <laughs> Women want a meat shield. Yes, that's literally what you are designed to be. Men are meat shields to women. Like that is biology. What do you want from me? <laughs> they already have a large pool to pick from. And me, and with yes. that being said, they have no reason to attend it. Now we're going to see a woman trying to sell the tickets for her single event. Oh boy. But she was clever enough to use a great selling point, which is an abundance of male attendees. Her advertisement video shows an event lie? full of men. Let's have a look at what she is trying to sell to women. It's a conversation event where everyone just happens to be single and we discuss interesting topics and get to hear different perspectives. We'll give you the conversation starters and topics so you don't need to worry about what to talk about next. Uh, you can just enjoy chatting to some great people and suss out who you This is definitely like, what if they had hired a bunch of paid actors? <laughs> it's just an event where everyone happens to be single. Ha 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 like to get to know more. There's a big grazing table and plenty of chances to go around and chat to those people who pique your interest. You need to come and check out our Singles Connection event. Our last one in February was such a success. Head to our bio to apply. We already have over 130 new applications for this event. We'll see you there. Ooh. She is very intelligent and her advertisement video was well thought through. She knows that women are losing interest because men usually don't go. But to get around this fact and get modern women to buy the ticket, she came up with the idea of having a video showing an abundance of men. But we have to get. Well, yeah, I would do this too if I had to. If I had to do this for a marketing team. <laughs> it's, no, it's smart. What do you mean? And then you see the same guy over and over. I'm pretty sure the guy in the gray shirt you see like three times in the video. The dog was the best part of the event. True. Grazing table. That's what um women say. They're like grazing table where you like little do a little you little nibble and stuff and then you talk to people. I was once rejected because of my diabetes. No joke. I felt like shit after a month. Oh, for a month after that? Wait, what? That's so fucked up. You have diabetes, so I'm not gonna talk to you. Man. I don't think that the best advice for both men and women is to not attend singles events instead of do things like a dance class or college party or friends party. Um... It's a marketing scheme, to be fair, because you have to pay to attend this thing, so it's a little bit biased. 
give her credit for her creativity. She deserved it. But her advertisement video doesn't reflect the reality, and this is what we are about to see in the next clip. What if you're an introvert and you just don't want to talk to people like this? I don't know. For me, I'm an extreme introvert, and, like, the idea of going to, like, a public... Not a public event. I guess it's, like, more of a... Like, a... It's not even a get-together. These are just random people. Like, what? Ugh. This would be a bit overwhelming. Yeah, no, the amount of people for me personally is like way too much. It's part of the reason why I don't ever want to go to like a Twitch con or anything. There's so many people around that it just scares me. Oh. Like even this is a bit too much for me and like having to hop between people. One thing I don't see mentioned on these single event videos. And maybe it's different in every area, but in Virginia Beach, single events charge men more to attend. Charge men more to be there and wonder why it's all women. They want you to pay for every- That's weird. If that's true, that's bizarre. Everything and expect to do nothing in return. The risk is not worth it. My boyfriend had to come to my country to find me. It was so sad when he was almost crying telling me he had never come home to a warm homemade meal and a smile. We are very traditional and family oriented here. And, and this is why this is why women wonder why people go overseas to find like love. They'll spend money to go overseas to find women. Passport bros. Yeah. I've heard this a lot from like Eastern European women. They're like, oh, wow, I married an American man or like a Western man. And they're just they're so grateful that they they have a woman to like cook and clean and talk to them. And uh, and I'm just like. That's crazy to me. I don't know. I'm an Alana, bro. That sounds terrible. I don't cook nor clean, nor will I even look in your direction. Tsundere mode activated. <laughs> Piss dog! What? Men will move to a new country to avoid normie women? No, like, but then you're in the normie woman of their country, do you know? Good, that's what I want. I can be the house husband. Hell yeah. Dominican Republic. All that independence that they wanted Dominican. so bad has come back to haunt them. I wouldn't go to any of those women's single events. It's a complete waste of time. Men, work on yourself. You will be glad that you did. This is the reality of what goes down in most of these events, but those trying to sell the ticket painted as if it is flooded with men. If you look at the Wait, there's like two women for every man. Man, woman, woman. It's closely. You will realize that most uh one man, woman, 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 woman. Most tables have three women. W uh man, woman, woman, woman. Wait, there's like three to two women and only one man. But at this point, we can consider this event successful because others didn't even have the opportunity to start as the host had to cancel it due to men's lack of interest. Even though there weren't enough men man. for every woman present in that event, they should still be happy because at least those guys gave them the opportunity to go out and interact with others. But I am glad guys are no longer wasting their time and resources on things like this. We know that paying to be rejected is a bad dating and financial strategy. Next, we have another group of women. Oh my god, this AI editing is so strong. Who have something to say about the number of attractive guys they found in the event they attended. Come with us to a Thursday event. Pet talk before we leave. No attractive men found. Very encouraging. Some McDonald's. Maybe next time. Why would a strong, the independent, event, educated, tasty. and powerful woman need a singles event? Num, 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 num. I bet men did show up, but women today don't see those types of men. 
Chad doesn't go to singles events. Good men don't go either. It's a waste of time, energy, and money. For us bottom 96% of men, we can stay at home and be rejected for free. I can't wait for the repercussions of COVID to like come to surface in like 20, 30 years when people are underdeveloped socially and they're just like affected by this isolation it's already affected kids no i totally get it but like the isolation that people felt during that time will be like a f it will um reverberate through the ages why wait it's happening now no 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 no, no, no. i understand that it's happening now I'm saying that it's gonna amplify over the next, like, decade or so. It will. If my drinks ain't free, you won't see me. The Driz, men they want to Driz, meet don't need to go what? to singles events. They have plenty of options already and don't need to subject themselves to this. The goal of those events is loud and clear. If modern women were going to this event with an open mind, things would be a lot different for them. If they weren't too focused on finding Chad, they probably would be able to see other guys who could be a better fit for them, but their inability to look in other directions prevents them from seeing other guys. Mmm, tasty. Then they ask why most of us are no longer interested in single events. Would they pay for an event where they have a 90% chance of being rejected? I bet they wouldn't make this financial mistake. Another thing is that... When... <laughs> When communities were more tight-knit in America and the West, mingling was more natural. This is so forced. Like, even if you think about it from, like, a caveman perspective, the way you'd meet was a lot more organic and a lot more natural. You didn't have to pay to, like, go to an event. Like, you're, you're already, like, a st you're already putting in a bad stigma in your mind when you pay for this kind of shit. Same with, like, dating apps. Oh, you have to pay $20 to, like, to swipe extra 20 times. Or friends of friends, yeah. You can meet someone at work or the bar and get married. Yeah. Tell that to Japanese, but I guess they don't pay. No, I think there's a lot of people in Japanese culture that meet friends through work because everything becomes about work. They also have a declining birth rate, so <laughs> maybe not the best example. Dating apps are a scam. Absolutely. Did you know that Tinder used to be like free? And it wasn't like pay to swipe, and now it's gotten so bad that they make you pay to swipe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now it's 500 bucks. Nah, that's like for the ultra premium platinum digital deluxe edition. It's $20 for two weeks to get more swipes. Yeah, exactly. Pay to wipe your butt. Tinder used to be free. Yeah. I love capitalism. 10 likes per day. Yep. You have to pay for the feature. Yep. It used to be free like 10 years ago, maybe even five. Now Tinder makes you pay for like a subscription to swipe every month. And you only get so many swipes if you use the free to use uh, version. Most guys wouldn't mind going to these events if things were different. But based on what modern yep. women are looking for, most of us already know it's a lost battle, which makes going to a single event a pointless move. This is all for today's video. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe. I don't think I will. This AI fucking blue ass. <laughs> Dude, this reminds me of the man versus woman video that we watched about islands, where it just had random AI inserts. Nah, man. Is that a Pippa? Pippa, 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 Pippa,